Hey there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Version. In the last episode, we got through Victory Road and got here to Evergrande City's uh, Elite Four area, because, for lack of a better term, I grinded for about five-ish hours. Uh, so here's who, what we're looking at right now. Um, Sheila has Guillotine now. Because it's a one-hit KO move, I found. Now it it's just kind of more like, cause Water Pulse is basically useless. I realized on Sheila, sh she couldn't really get much use out of it. Both Waterfall and Surf were much more useful. Um, so when Guillotine popped up as a thing to learn, I was like, eh, sure, why not? Uh, it has a 30% chance of hitting, but only if you are higher leveled. So it's not going to be super useful for most of the, for like half the Elite Four, but eh, whatever. Chelo has Detect, I don't know what, that just kind of happened. I didn't evolve, uh, le level up Chelo too much because he's kind of not great. And he was really not great against anybody else in the cave. So I focused on, I, fo I use the Experience Share a lot, but I put that on the Pokemon who I'm going to be using more in this, so Chelo's just kind of there, he's probably going to be a, oh, if I need to heal out, I can send out Chelo so he can take a hit and die. Uh, conference call here, uh, gonna be fairly useful, hopefully. Um, no move changes, but I did put Psychic to the top, I think. Other than that, he's pretty much the same. Flint, gonna be super useful, I use most of my rare candies on him, because he takes forever to level up. Uh, he got... Metal Sound, which, uh, lowers special defense sharply, which is cool, and he, I, I, I was really worried about one of the trainers in the Elite Four, and I found, I was like, I need something to combat Dragon Types, because there's always a Dragon Type leader, Elite Four person in these things. So I was like, well, is there any good ice moves I can get? And there's Blizzard, but I wasn't super into Blizzard, especially because it's hard to hit. Then I found out in Meteor Falls, the place where we, to the left of like all the lava-y stuff, all the way in the le top left of the map, there is a TM for Dragon Claw. So I went ahead and grabbed that, and taught it to Flint. Unfortunately, even though the game's, the Bulbapedia says it's a physical move, apparently in Gen 3 all Dragon type moves are special. I don't know why. But it's what I was told online from someplace that wasn't Bulbapedia, and I'm going to put my faith in it because Dragon Claw does jack shit. <laughs> However, Metal Sound lowers special defense, so I'll be able to combine those two moves and hopefully have a decent showing of Dragon Claw. It sucks, though, because Bulbapedia said it was physical, but it's not, and Flint has a terrible phys special attack compared to his regular attack. It's, 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 it's whatever. I'll deal with it. Swellow, Lilac, she's pretty good, probably. Taught her Steel Wing, I don't know if that was on camera. It's good. Up's attack if suffering? Nice, okay. So we got Bane. Bane is definitely the best one ever. He's basically not changed at all, but uh, he's gonna be my ace because he's awesome and he wrecked everything, so he's my highest level Pokemon. So, with all that said and done, let me just turn battle animations back on, because I turned them off while grinding. Why wouldn't I? And I'll do one last little bit of a save. You can see my time has drastically increased since the last time. Also, I caught a random mole ally I found. Just for the sake of it. Uh, I can explain later, but it's just I have a mall aisle now in my thing. Somewhere. Um, yeah, so... Who's first on the list? Let's find out. Okay, so first trainer... Appears to be Dark type. Dark. What is strong against Dark? What is strong against Dark? Definitely don't want conference call out there. Bug and fighting. Well, and Sheila's probably good to keep out then, because, uh, she's got a good fighting type move. I still have one rare candy left to use. I'll probably save that for 
what I feel like we need. Anyways. I have all the gym battles. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth. Will do, buddy. I did, like, get a bunch of healing items, right? <laughs> yeah, here we go. 30 pipe, pipe Revolutions, 30 Revives. Just in case I use Earthquake, I'll give that to Flint. Alright. Let's do this! Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that you're giving me... I missed the word look there, but whatever. Alright, so I might be a bit over-leveled for some of these guys, but trust me, I'm not over-leveled for the final fight. Okay. So I should be starting out with a Myena. Yes. And my Hyper Cutter prevents Intimidate from working. Huzzah! Gonna break your bricks. You're alive? How are you alive? Okay, apparently I couldn't, didn't manage to successfully kill you. Whatever. Great. Off to a fantastic start, I see. And right, I'll hit you with a waterfall first, then. Which almost killed you. And I guess I'll just try and do that again? Whatever. Alright, so he's gonna use Cacturn, Grass Dark. Let's send out Lilac, because Lilac can take out a Grass Types easy peasy. Lemon Squeezy. I'm not worried about you. What's Cotton Sport doing? I have no idea. There we go. By the way, I should reiterate, or at least say, my, um... Uh... The five hours of grinding was not done in the same day, I'll say that much. This is a new day. I did about, I did about two and a half hours of grinding today. So, yeah. Uh, I didn't just sit here for ages in Victory Road. No. No, 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 that is not what I did. Alright, you're probably gonna get another full restore. So I'm just gonna... Or you have a Citrus Berry. Which means you're probably not gonna get health. Which means I can Brick Break you again. Thanks for the berry, buddy. You're a berry, buddy. That's what you are. Now you're dead. Yeah, I'm not worried about this guy. I'm, I'm not really worried about too many of these guys. Especially since, like, my main focus of leveling up was for the final fight, not this one. Not these early ones, which are honestly relatively okay, I'd say. I'm just gonna aerial ace you, whatever. Doesn't kill, whatever. Oh, good. Doesn't Aerial Ace just not miss? Isn't that part of its thing? I think that's part of its thing. I think that's part of why it exists. It's, uh, it can't, doesn't miss. So your double team is useless. Goodbye. Crawdons. Well, we can show Bane for a little bit. Why not? Bane, wreck it. You know what to do. You know how this goes. I just really find it funny that Bane was like the one Pokemon on this team who wasn't planned to be on this team and yet he is the best Pokemon on the team. He's just, he's just trying to prove himself. Listen to what this loser has to say. You got what it takes to go far. Alright. So, who is next? Ghost. Ghost is next.
Uh, I didn't take enough damage to really warrant a full heal or anything. All right, well, I guess we'll be trying conference call out. This is conference call's main battle, but the problem here is that uh, ghost versus ghost—they're both super effective on each other. So if I don't kill, they could kill me. See the conundrum here? <laughs> but luckily, uh, as long as I don't really use normal type stuff, Ghost should be relatively okay. And I'm higher level anyway, so... Oh, come on! Why does everything have Protect? So annoying! I don't like dealing with it. It's just a waste. It's like, no, stop it. At least use it more strategically than just delaying a turn, like if you, if you give me a poison or a burn or something. Anything! I don't know, I don't care, just... Don't just throw it out there! Ah! Stupid AI. As I sit here, literally just mashing the A button, I feel like I'm grinding again. Alright, conference call, you're wrecking it. Keep it up, keep it up. You're gonna probably level up from this. You're faster than everybody! Well, I might not even need someone else for this. I don't know. You have to find out. The Sableye might give me trouble. Possibly. This isn't the Sableye, though. This guy could also give me trouble, potentially. He's level 51. He's the high she she's the highest level Pokémon. And she's dead. So, just gotta make sure that I can kill the Sableye. And I leveled up. Cool bean. Alright, so does the dark type negate anything from this Shadow Ball? It does. It doesn't... It's not super effective. But it didn't kill. And there's gonna be a full restore next turn. That much was guaranteed. Conference call, please hit. Okay. So, he hit. And another full restore. Okay. Might not hit again because of that double team. We'll see. Okay, you hit again. Okay. Get a crit, that would be awesome, Con. Not quite a crit, but still. Never ended up missing. So, good job, conference call. You just sweep that entire trainer. Well, that's what I call a ghost-type trainer. Me! Because I wrecked you with one ghost! Okay, who's next? Next up is ice-type. Alright, so I have the ice-type open. What's strong is that? Fighting fire rock. Okay. And, it, and... It's weak against... What's strong against resisting it is ice and water type. So I would want... Sheila out in front for this to begin with. I don't want to put out Lilac or Chelo. Anyone else is fine. Okay. I don't have any fire or rock type moves, but I'll deal. I'll deal. Do I have any like weak healing items, because that'd be nice. I got some berries. No, don't check the tab. I just want to use them. Why is it the first option? It's so stupid, I don't understand it. I guess probably just because they had to add it to the berry thing, but like, why not put it at the bottom or something? Whatever. That's just a, a just-in-case thing, because I don't really... I mean, I'm still technically higher level than any Pokemon this Glacia woman has, but... Uh... We'll see what happens. Fear of Pokemon are also water type, so I can also just use Bane for some of them. But... We'll see what happens. This is a really... Honestly, it's kind of a really weird selection of Elite Four, I'd say. Like, I feel like their types are just kind of odd choices. Oh no, it's hailing. Is that gonna hurt me? 
Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be slightly damaged by that every turn. Whatever. You're dead. Probably just need to be Ice-type for that. Another Celio. It's a level 52 one. It's got Hail, Blizzard, Double Engine, Attract. Well, it can't use Attract on me, at least. That's good. It's probably gonna try and just use Blizzard on me. For maybe Double Edge? Because it might, its AI might tell itself that the Ice-type move is not good to use. No, nope, there's Blizzard, and it missed. Cool. So I'll take a little bit of Pelotinga from Hail, but you're dead, basically. Because you're probably not in the healing range. There you go. Goodbye. Okay. So she's got two Glalies and a Wall Rain. Her entire team is female. Huh. All right. All right. I don't know which Glalie this one is. It's either 50 or 52. It's the 52 one. Okay. So. Ooh, this one knows explosion. That could be bad. That could be bad. Oh, but it used Ice Beam. Alright. That shouldn't do too much. Not a whole lot. Not worth fu getting fussy, fussy over, is, is the point. Alright, that could be worth a heal. It, it is. Alright. This is kind of a little bit one of my worries, I suppose, was just like... I was a little worried that I might have over-leveled for most of these other- There we go, there. Alright, Shield's probably dead. Unfortunately. Yeah. That stinks, okay. Well, she's probably gonna put out the Glalie. I'll sign a conference call. Yeah, there we go. Alright, this Glalie's level 50. It could still kind of wreck, potentially, but we'll see what happens. Here, I have a Shadow Ball. Okay. Okay. Crunch could damage me. Alright. We're in the clear, because I can just use Bane for the last Pokemon the Wall Rain. This is part Water type. 2002! Two years off of when this game came out. Alright, Bane, get out here. But yeah, I don't know, I was just... For some reason, Gen 3 feels like you... Gen 3 and onwards feels like you can kind of cheese things much less compared to how you could in Gen 1 and 2. So for Gen 1 and 2, I was just a lot more underleveled and felt perfectly fine doing so because it was just like, yeah, whatever, like... I can just type my effective my, my tech effectiveness my way to victory. It'll be more effective than me trying to say that sentence, apparently. Okay. Need some healing. Not too much, though, actually. Might as well, because... I don't know. I've been using a lot of Shadow Ball. else I would use that on. Sure, whatever. Just might as well use them. I didn't remember that I had those. I still got my one rare candy. You know what, I'll just give it to Flint. Just to make this upcoming battle a tiny bit easier. 
you know? So, next up we got the dragons. Um... I'm not even sure I'm going to need exclusively Flint for this, but... He'll be good to have. So, I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm the last of the Pokemon League Elite Four. Drake the Dragon Master! In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free! At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me! I know what's needed to prevail over you. Numbers! Alright, you start out with a Shelgun. We haven't even seen, like, the thing that this evolves from, Bagon. Shelgon, whatever. Does Protect protect you from this? That's dumb. Th that's dumb. Alright, you've been metal sounded. Rock tune. Probably won't do much. Yeah. Easy peasy! My steed fell, oh no, whatever will I do? Right back at you, buddy. Right back at you. So long. And a Kingdra. It's got Surf, so I don't really want Flint out for that. Bane's gonna save most of these areas where I'm not gonna be great is the thing, because, like, a lot of these guys have things that can kind of handle Flint. They have moves, at least, that can handle Flint fairly nicely. So I think it's worth it for Bane. Ooh, you speed rose. Don't be fat. Ooh, god. Don't make me miss. Don't make me miss. Don't make me miss. Don't make me miss. No! Well, Spark will hit no matter what. Surf's not gonna do much to me at all. Never mind. What? I thought Spark was the one that mi Oh, it's, it must be Shockwave Lynn is the one that never misses. Surf does a lot more damage to me than I thought it did. It must be super effective on, like, Steel or something. There. Will you die? No, you're not. You're gonna get healed, though, so I can use another one. Withdrew Kingdra. What are you gonna replace it with? Flygon? Oh, fuck you. Make me useless. Alright, well. It's kinda gonna suck for whoever comes out. I wanted to use Sheila for this, but. Mm. It's probably gonna try and use Earthquake, because it has Earthquake. So, Lilac may make, make sense? What's, what's weak against the ground? Won't, it won't affect the flying type, so that'll negate the earthquake that it's most likely gonna hit now. Yeah! Yeah! Called your bluff! Now, here's the problem, I don't really know what to use against it. <laughs> As Lilac? Let's see what Return does. Return's pretty neutral with an attack, so... That's a fair decent amount. Dragon Brush should only do 40 to me, right? That's more than 40. Okay. Ideally, I do something that doesn't hurt it a lot, and then I can hit it again with Return to kill it. So... Does Steel Wing do a whole lot? Eh, that's good enough. Probably won't heal from that. I can take down the fly Flygon. Heck yeah! 
It's all about managing to avoid the full restores. I'm glad this is at least giving me some, like, more struggles in earlier, though. Salamence, the top Pokémon. Alright, I think it's worth bringing out Flint back, because... Bane needs a little bit of life first. Before I can try and reliably use him again. Ah, shit, you got Intimidate. Of course you got Intimidate. Alright, well, let's lower your special defense. This probably won't kill me. It's gonna hurt me a lot, but it's not gonna kill me. I don't think. Alright. It's not even hurting me nearly as much as I thought it would. Ah, but it burned me, damn it. Dragon Claw, you should do a decent amount. Or I can be the one who gets a crit. I approve of that. I appreciate that much. And here comes the Kingdra. How much health did it leave off on? I don't even remember. It doesn't know any Dragon-type moves is the thing, it just knows Surf and Body Slam, so maybe sending Sheila out won't be that bad of an idea. Because the Surf's not going to affect Sheila, Sheila's still a higher level, and Body Slam probably won't be too great either. Heck, maybe I can even get a Guillotine, let's see. I am a higher level after all. It's a random chance, basically. The good news is, I did read, it's completely unaffected by accuracy things. So, nothing he does or what I do will actually affect Guillotine at all. Maybe it's kind of stupid to be doing this, but whatever. I've only got two more chances at it anyway, and I'm not going to die. And if it works, hey, it'd be cool. Okay, I should probably stop being stupid. I'll save the full restore. It's not the champion, so... Alright, let's stop being stupid. Uh, I guess we'll just try and brick break it. See how that goes. Well, I'm paralyzed and I can't move. I don't know how many uses it gets of Body Slam, but... Hopefully not an infinite amount. Oh my god, Sheila! Stop being paralyzed! I need you to get off and attack! Now I'm definitely regretting being stupid with Guillotine. Oh good. Oh my god, Sheila! Come on! Why are you getting affected by literally every single paralysis? Okay, you surf. Good. That won't do that much to me. Maybe now I can actually freaking hit you. I don't know. That would be a nice thing. Thank you. God damn. That didn't really do that much either. I guess let's see how Surf does. I'm probably not gonna die from this body slam. Let's see if Surf kills. That did nothing! I don't think it's worth it. Sheila can't do enough. I'm actually going to try and see if I can get Shalo to do something. Because he's fast, is the, is the thing. He's very fast. But the Kingdra's faster. Okay. Never mind.
Well, maybe. That's gonna be a heal. That is going to be a heal. Or not. Hi, Altaria. I'm just gonna heal up Bane. Bane can kill everybody else and Chalo's dead. Hey, at least I used him in the Elite Four. That should make him feel better about himself. Alright, Thunderbolt you. Dragon will negate the, the super effectiveness, but it'll still be strong. Most of the Altaria you can know. Double edge aerial ace dragon breath. That shouldn't do anything because I'm steel. And the double edge, a little bit of that recoil will probably make sure that the Altaria is in position to die. Which is great! Heck yeah! And now I have Tingra. You should be dead now. No, now you use the full restore. That makes sense. Totally, 100% makes perfect sense. I understand you. If you're gonna use the full restore, why'd you swap it out? Whatever. Whatever. Goodbye. All right, that's the Elite Four. So next time on Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, I deserve all the credit. I need know what I need. I need a virtuous heart. I touch good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Alright, here's where things need Wow, I can actually use this burn heal. Here's where I really need to be careful because this is the fight I was worried about. This is the fight I grinded for. This is gonna be the champion. And I'm gonna have to do him in the next episode. So, see you guys then. I forgot I was ending the episode. I'm stupid. Whatever. Bye bye <laughs>